Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I will be talking a little bit about night photography and give you some tips to take some great photos in the light. So taking photos at night is a bit harder than taking photos during the day. Not only is there a lack of light, but you have to go about doing things a little differently. Even though it may be hard, it doesn't have to be a nightmare to take photos in low light or in darkness. So I will give you some tips on how to take some pretty good photos. First off, I'm going to talk a little bit about equipment. Something you should always have to take pictures in low light or in darkness is a tripod. It can hold the camera and it will make sure that there is less shakiness from your hands when you're taking a photo. You can use other things for a tripod, but might as well just use a tripod as, as it is the easiest thing to use. Also, it could be good practice to bring a flashlight as it is dark and you, it will help you see when you're trying to go around taking the photos. It also can come in handy to use for um, shining the light on the thing you are taking the photo of if it is kind of close and you can uh, change the camera to the settings so that when it takes the picture, when there is no light, it will already be set up for when the flash goes off or for whatever. It also can just be your main light source too if you need it to shine on, to put more light onto your scene. Also, always remember to shoot in manual when you are taking photos in darkness. This will help you get the, the control you need to take the right photo. And this will help you get the right look or feel that you are looking for so remember to shoot in manual when you're shooting night photos. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is a few of the camera settings. A few of the things you need to play with while you're working with night photography is aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Try to go for a normal ISO. This means that you will need a smaller aperture, which is a higher number, and also have a longer shutter speed. This will keep the shutter open longer so that more light can be brought into the camera and it will be able to see more of the scene that you were taking a picture of. So keep in mind that since you have the longer shutter speed or the slower shutter speed, whatever you want to say, that this is when the tripod is extremely helpful because when, as the shutter stays open to gather that light, it will capture any shakiness or movement that you create with your hands. This is why you are able to see certain pictures with the light that looks like a blur or a line is because the light was moving when the shutter was left open to gather that light. So if you don't really want to see the shakiness or any light looking like, uh, like a creepy monster or whatever, make sure that you have a tripod or something to stabilize the camera so that you can get the outcome that you want. And just keep playing with these settings while you are out taking your night pictures, the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. And eventually you'll get, you'll get it and you'll figure out which, which you prefer for which scene. So go have fun taking your, your night photos and um, thanks for watching. And if you want to go look at some articles before you go take your night photos. There will be a couple links to some articles in the description to help you out before you go. Thanks again, guys. Have a good day.